last time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm going to be honest. I think the way that season ended there is probably the way to end it. And it's the end of the Watford Awards. Oh. Huh. Well, hey, maybe there will be a new season. Um... <laughs> They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight Shunting, Kunton, winning games Red and green and brown and blue They're the really dog shot crew All with different roles to play Like DLP and box to box Down the table, out the league Baby boy and friends Gerard, he's the baby one Sar scores goals, it's lots of fun Dini pulls the melon time Just loves to get rough. Chalaba shoots and huffs and puffs. They're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Shunting, cunts and winning games. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really dog shot crew. All with different roles to play, like DLP and box to box. Down the table, out the league, baby boy and friends! Boom! Right. Uh, welcome back to the season two that I didn't think was going to happen at the time, but here we are. Uh, money talks. Let's just let's just say that you might think, given the fact that I've got 64 mil in the bank uh, and the board gave me 55, that I haven't actually spent any of it and I've done no business. No, you can be further from the truth. Uh, I went a bit mad. I've tried to make some big dollar moves. Not a lot of them have worked out, but there's been some interesting additions already. There's been a lot of exits as well. Now is the list. Right, so start with the outs. The first of super big money one, Will Hughes. Uh, he's gone. 16.5 mil. He's off to Bournemouth, right? He's shit. If you look at his stat, he's shit, yeah? There's nothing, nothing there. Dead. Dead, absolutely fucking wet lettuce player. 16.5 mil, are you mad? Bit their hands off. Roberto Pereira, also to Real Sociedad. Mugged them off, mate. 14.5 mil. Uh, slightly more, in fact. Again, wet lettuce player. Dead. In fairness, that's a bit harsh to say about him. He is a bit better than that. I mean, fuck me, he's valued at almost 30 mil there. Look, that makes me look, that's that's embarrassing. Right? It looks like they skinned us. They didn't, but he's one of those players. He flatters to deceive. You know, you think, oh, he'll be decent, he will. He's not. He's just always shit. And even when he's not shit, he's just average, you know? We need better. That's what we had last season. We're trying to get away from that. We're trying to improve, not stay the same. Next up, Mark Navarro. Uh, you won't even know who this is because he was out on loan all last season. He's a dog shit right back. Sold him for 13 mil. It's good business. Then Pasito, he's gone as well. 11 and a half mil. We also, ah, uh, this was this was a this was a beautiful thing, guys. Let me die. This was a beautiful thing. Isaac Success fucked off. He had a successful loan move uh, <laughs> at the end of last season, which meant that his value went up a little bit. People actually wanted to take him, and take him they did, and I'm for um now the next one's interesting. So we have also got rid of Messina, the, uh, the left back Donny G, that played a lot of my games when he could. Average is what I'd say he is. He was always there, right? But I like my fullbacks to be sick at attacking. Most people think, right, your left back and your right back, it even says there, defender. No, they're attackers. They're, 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 the, they're the focal point, right? They're the big men. 11 crossing, yeah? He's never going to be the big man, is he? Not with, no. 12 passing, no. It's just not the one, right? And to be honest, as a defensive fullback, he's fine. But his value was only decreasing, even when he played well. He didn't really want to be here. I didn't really want him to be here. I wanted to make big money. Like, left back was an area that I wanted to target and make a market improvement. We'll see how that went in a minute. Now, the next one is very debatable. Um, I actually don't think 
I probably should have done this. It might have been a mistake, but we've got rid of Etienne Capoue as well. The only player that we had with a bit of defensive, you know, a bit of defensive steel in there, a bit of bite. He's a decent player. Uh, being completely honest with you, he's a decent player. The main reason I decided to cash in on him was because he is 32. So he's only going to get worse. He thought he was Billy Big Bollocks in the team, when actually he wasn't. To get 9 mil for him, regardless of whether he's worth 10.75 now, that will dip to fucking 3 mil at the end of the season. So I'm not worried about that. That was decent. Now, he didn't play much last season, but we did get rid of Kiko Firmino as well for 4.4. Again, he's dreadful, right? He is at how he played in the Prem, I don't know. He's awful. Absolutely awful. So, almost 5 mil for him. Sick. The only other one that we got rid of was Dimitri Folkier. I don't know if that's how you say his name. He's shit as well. You can see he's shit. See, we, we had we had a lot. We've had a lot of outs already, and that's that's not even all of them. Like, there was a really weird one. Um, where is it? Craig Cathcart. Now, he didn't really play last season because he got injured for a load of it. Obviously, you know you should know but i wanted to make big defensive fucking improvements right uh so he had to leave um but no one actually wanted to take him and he really wanted to go to west ham on loan for some reason and he was just gonna get pissy with me if i didn't let him so go waste your career at west ham lad they're not even gonna start he's literally a bench player for them so i don't know what the point of that was mate holobas left at the end of the season as well we've had some loans go out like pennies went out on loan uh i wanted to get him out last season but no one to take him for some fucking reason some of the young lads as well uh, have gone out like tom uh, Ryan Cassidy's gone out as well. So, uh, honestly, we've got rid of, like, a lot of dead wood. Or, like, eh players, you know? Just eh. And we've got fucking decent money for them. That's good. Now, let's get you onto the exciting bits. Who's coming in, right? Who, who, who are the boys that are joining the absolute Watford revolution? First one, he's got big potential, mate. He's got massive potential. He's a decent player already. Like, he can already be a bench player for me. Uh, big Ahmad Traore. What a Don. What a Donny G. Look at him. Good dribbling. Great first touch. He can pass. He's got a bit of technique. Bear in mind, he's only 18. I like a player with bollocks. All right? Sue me for it. Ain't nothing wrong with liking a pair of bollocks. Brilliant signing. Uh, we, di we didn't pay a lot for him either. 1.4 mil. For a player with five-star potential, sick. We need to get defensive improvements. Uh, so this lad's come in. What a mistake. What an absolute mistake. Because what the fuck is that name? What? How do, you, how, do you, how do you go about saying that? What Zifuik is that? Name aside, uh, he's a decent player. So he's 22 years old. Decent pace. He's got a bit of strength about him. He, he can't jump. His mentals are brilliant. 17 fucking aggression. You love to see that. And his technicals are decent as well. So he's got room to grow. If you can push some of these 12s to maybe 13s, fucking sick, mate. Now, Flynn Downs. He only cost us 5 mil. Now, he's got potential. 5 mil for a young English player at the minute is insane. And he looks decent as well. Like, he could actually start. Don't get me wrong, he won't. The reason he's coming is because he's someone. He's young, plenty of room to develop, but he won't mind not playing every game. He's got bollocks and he fucking runs about. What? Well, what would you want? Yeah? 14 tackling as well. Sign me up. For 5 mil, you're a madhead, right? Bear in mind, we've sold Will Hughes for 16.5, yeah? Now, the next one. This is where we, we, we level up. This guy's got a little bit of spice to him. A little bit of sauce. Matthias Saracho. Right? Look at these fucking stats. Look at the stat. Right. Barrett, I know not all of you will play football manager. All the stats are out of... Uh, from, from 1 to 20, basically. To have... His technicals. He hasn't got anything less than 11. He's, he can dribble. He, he's got first touch. He can pass the ball. He can fucking tackle as well and get stuck in. He's got defensive positioning. Look, oh, fuck me. This kid has got it all. How much do we buy him for? What, well, you think in a player like this, he must be worth a lot. How much did we pay? Six and a half fucking cues. Yeah, let's compare him to this boy. Look at the, look at the chart. Look at the chart. We're moving mad. We're, we're, we're moving mad out here. The next guy, Marco Grujic. All of our other reinforcements have been tiny. This guy's massive. He's like 6'4". Again, he's got a bit of defensive bite about him, but he's got creative quality as well. Right, 15 passing, 15 technique. He's got the vision. He's got 15 work rate, 15 vision again. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. 16 composure. Fantastic. 16 jump reach as well. So you can win those aerial duels. You love to see it. The next one, uh, Jamal Lascelles from Newcastle. Newcastle got relegated. Uh, so he nicked the captain. 
Let me tell you, this is why I bought this boy. He's a better defender than all the defenders we've got as it is. 17 leadership. I can't tell you how important I think leadership is on the pitch, yeah? You need leadership to push boys on, but especially if you're in a tough situation or something like that, you can tell the difference a captain makes. Even if they're not wearing the armband, just having this boy around, even just around the club, is going to help everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Physically, I like him, yeah? He's not slow, he's really strong, he can jump, he's good in the air, right? We do love a set piece, so he's part of that Tony Pulis mindset. Decent aggression, he's got concentration. Exactly, marking head in a brilliant. The only problem I've got with Lascelles is he can't pass the ball, but I think he's gonna do all right for us. The other guy uh, at centre back that we've bought, and you've already seen already, so Van der Hoosden. Van der Hoosden. Van der Hoosden? Van der Hoosden. Van der Hoosden, everybody, yay! When you compare him to, to Lascelles, uh, he's almost as good physically, except he's actually got technical quality as well, and all of his mentals are fucking amazing bar aggression. This kid, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do bits for us. Make no fucking mistake about it, he's gonna do bits. And now this one, right? This is the big money move that we've made. Christoph Ayer. Just look at this Don. Look at this absolute fucking Don of a man. First thing I want you to notice with him, he's 22. He can play as a centre back, a defensive mid, and a centre mid brilliantly and he's got the stats to do all of them as well he's not bad at dribbling he can finish he's got a first touch he's got brilliant first touch in fact he is also six foot five i think so he's got great jumping reach great heading he can mark he's got 16 passing he's the best passer we've got at the club and he's a fucking center back by trade he's, he's top mentals so the aggression anticipation bravery composure it's all it's all amazing 18 determination the work rate is not quite as good as some leaders. it doesn't need to be with this geezer he works hard enough yeah amazing vision 16 teamwork 16 leadership he's a leader as well this guy uh, he, he, he's physically he's not even slow he's strong he's big He's, he's, he's Christoph Ayer. The Viking man is here. <laughs> the invasion of England has begun once more, boys. He's a proper warrior in there. This is the kind of player we needed all of last season. Just someone to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Have a dirty challenge when it needs to be. Play a sick fucking through ball when it needs to happen. So that's all the transfer deals we've done now. However, we've still got 65 mil to spend. So there's still deals in the pipeline. Don't you worry about that, right? Don't you worry your pretty little noggin about that. But there are some other players as well that have come back from loan that should come in. Uh, one of them being this geezer. So Ken Summer. We sold Messina, who was our only first choice left back. This guy can play left back. He's not super comfortable there, but he'll be decent. He's got the pace. He can tackle. He's got some attacking quality as well better than Messina 100% as a squad Don what a what a guy as the starter <laughs> most of the other players that come back on loan we've just we've just fucked off I'm not gonna lie the only one that's here Ben Wilmot decent centre-back prospect he's not gonna play this season so we're gonna try and loan him out don't worry about him the other one Luis Suarez again I'm a Liverpool fan the only Luis Suarez I respect is the one that was the best player I've ever seen put on the red shirt. He is, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to do him dirty here. He's actually quite good. Something about him, I'm just not feeling it. I think he's going to move to Crystal Palace for 20 mil. We'll bring in a new, big, a, a new big man, yeah? But also, we don't need like 60 strikers at the club. But yeah, that's the, um, that's the squad for now. Boom, I guess. Next time on Dragon Ball.